Listen up! We all know what happened. How under the guise of peace they attacked and killed our brothers out there on the line. They were slain without mercy. We are lucky, Marines, that we have been chosen to avenge our comrades in arms, and we shall deliver this righteous vengeance swiftly and without mercy, for no mercy was shown to us. This is what happens when you give ground, Marines. It is not our job to concern ourselves with the talk of politicians. Look where that got you. We're here to do one thing. It's the one thing we do best. It's why we're born. We're here to kill. We were born to kill, and we will kill them all! Yeah. Let's go. Make sure you stop by the ASP before we move out. I repeat, stop by the ammunition supply point before reporting to your squad. Full tactical strike. Move! Shot 5 are cleared for incursion. Sector 4 5 sweep. Weapons hot. Repeat, weapons hot. Godspeed and good luck. First squad, listen up. Let's lock and load those weapons. Start going in hot, so watch your sidelines. And if you have a shot, you will take it. Contact Battalion HQ. And give them these coordinates. Full tactical strike. Until we are relieved, you will engage the enemy, and you will continue to move forward. OK, listen up, Marines. Let's stay sharp. Pick your target. Kill shots over. Continue the attack as per your orders. Take no prisoners. Air support, repeat! We are totally defensive, over! 
Ladies and gentlemen, you join us here outside the UN. Things are crazy and hectic and riots are going on on this historic day after years of war and against a background of increasing public outcry. Finally, the leaders of the two warring factions have agreed to attend peace talks. But as you can see, even as the two delegations make their way to the talks, there have been rumors of dissent and division within both sides. Out here in the field, it's wild, crazy, and a little scary. Indeed, there have been reports of influential and powerful figures who have no interest or desire for lasting peace, perhaps even senior members of the military with links to the massively lucrative arms manufacturing industry, which supplies the weapons for this ongoing conflict, many of which you can see here today. One thing is certain, however, that a safe and secure future depends on the success of these talks. Back to you, Gerbil. It is time, Mr. President. And so, without further ado, I declare these historic talks open and join with the rest of the world in the heartfelt desire for their successful resolution. A mutually agreed buffer zone makes the most sense. UN peacekeepers to patrol the zone with a managed schedule of mutual disarmament. The current disputed ground has always been primarily our land. Any neutral zone must be made up with an equal division of territories. That is the only equitable solution. After repelling the repeated, unwarranted, and illegal incursions by your forces, many of which have occurred in the last 18 months with resulting horrific casualties, which are entirely the fault of your continued military aggression, how can we trust that any giving of ground will be respected? There can be no peace without trust. On both sides, we are willing to agree to a staged and unilateral stepping down of all offensive forces currently engaged. We must move towards peace together. And so, the treaty that many thought would never happen, bringing to an end over 50 years of conflict, paving the way for a new and brighter future. They can sign all the paper they want. Appeasement isn't how you win a war. And I'm not going to let these bleeding hearts derail everything we've worked for. No more war. No more business. The peace treaty has been signed. It would seem that way, wouldn't it? Although it's such a bloody and expensive conflict, I doubt the will of a few stuffed suits signing pieces of paper is going to count for much. Our friends won't allow it. In fact, I can think of 200 million reasons why this treaty is going to make no difference whatsoever. I think we're going to be very busy in the next quarter, my friends. And I have a feeling business is about to be very good indeed. Saber is progressing as per your orders, General. Attack wing Gamma approaching target with comms blackout. I haven't ordered a mission? Who gave that order? <laughs> Abort immediately! Abort! I can't raise the attack wing or the carrier group, sir. 
Tactical command post. There's a large civilian population at the base. the pretext of peace to commit this atrocity. We don't fear war as you seem to think. There can be no peace. Good evening, my friends. It seems our operation was a complete success, and the treaty is as good as dead. We have initiated a continuous shift pattern that will triple our output, and we anticipate being able to fulfill the orders for both sides. Agreed. It's an easy sell when the bodies start stacking up. 